Tom, we're back again with more dirty fake watches. We need to find out a really innovative and fun way for the viewers to see us destroying them. What do you reckon? Well, they boast water resistance, they boast shock resistance, but what about laser resistance? Hmm, well you do have a lab coat on. Oh yeah, and there's a laser. My name is Erin and uh, I work for Lotus Laser. We produce laser systems uh, to mark, engrave, cut, pretty much everything. With a big thanks to Lotus Laser for helping us on our quest to destroy fake watches. If you want to win this one of one Invicta with sunglasses etched by Lotus Laser, stay until the end of the video. Round one. In the film No Room to Maneuver, James Bond famously deflected a laser away from his Jaffas with his Omega Seamaster. Will this Pagani design be able to do the same? Prepare to die. Three, two, one. Make laser go now. Whoa! Oh, that's bright. Looks like Doctor Strange. I hope we didn't accidentally bore a tunnel into the multiverse. Oh, and it's cracked. Ooh, little Pagani candle. Happy birthday. I don't know what that is in the back of that watch that's bubbling, but I'm here for it. Yeah, some sort of Pagani discharge. Whoa, pop goes the crystal again. Bonus round. Round two. The Omega Time Swatch Moon Swatch is well known for being an incredibly robust and precise timepiece which should be able to withstand a laser. This is a fake. Let's see if it can do the same. Lasers come from the moon so it should be all right. Like a knife through butter, Tom. I was just going to say butter. <laughs> well, I said it first. Lasers straight from the fridge. It's really frothy. It's almost like caramel. I want to eat it. Oh, really? Well, it looks like a hot slug running over a fake moon swatch. Did that have a plastic protector or is that the crystal melting? Yeah, that's the Perspex crystal. I didn't expect it to do that. That is insane. It's liquefied it in a bad way. I don't want to eat that anymore. That looks horrible. Oh, look at that. It's like the thing from outer space. Bonus round. Round three. The Casio G-Shock is the toughest watch in the world, but it doesn't say anything about laser resistance, nor does the Schmiel, but we're going to test it anyway. <laughs> Smoking, straight away. This is a tough watch. It doesn't look so tough now, it's got a laser shooting through it. It's like if you mix a durable sports watch with some sort of witch's cauldron and a laser. <laughs> I think that's how they did it back in Shakespeare's time. Look at that! It's like actually molten hot in there. Hit it again. <laughs> Bonus round.
round four. It's everyone's favourite childhood watch. It brings back all the memories of happiness and joy. Playing in the grass, it is of course the Casio F91W, but this one is fake, so we're going to destroy our childhood with lasers. Paint me to do it, but uh, lasers. Wow! It's like a sort of digital bubble bath in hell, which is to be expected, I think. Oh, look at that sizzle! The flame's still not as bright as the backlight. Round five. So this is what we've all been waiting for. Can the fake Rolex withstand the real laser? We're about to find out. Greenwich Mean Time, more like Greenwich Malaysia Time. It's cracking. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. It's like firework night in Laser Town. Come back to life, look. It's really trying. I think the laser sort of Frankensteined it back to life. And now it's on fire. I think we're used to it at this point that this will catch on fire, but I don't think we expected green. Yeah, it's got those green Harry Potter chimney fires going on. That's insane. The bezel there has completely changed colour and is attempting to go back to its home planet. My bezel people need me. Replica watch enthusiast communities hate him because of this one weird trick. It didn't get all the way through the case, let's try just the movement by itself. Did I say movement? I meant the fires of Mount Doom. That is a pile of molten slag, if ever I saw one. I think it's about ready for breaking. Oh, that is medium rare, Tom. Bonus round. With a big thank you again to Lotus Laser for letting us blast these fake watches with their high-powered lasers. If you want to learn more about Lotus Laser, there's a link in the description below. And to win this one-of-one -one Invicta with sunglasses etched by Lotus Laser, choose a name for this cheeky chappy and post it in the comments below. Our favourite will win the watch. For everything else watches, real, not fake, stick with watchfinder.com.